Hi everyone, happy to be back. Yesterday we did the cable runs uh, for the DC electrics. So we've got the solar PV cable over from the rear southwest facing roof over to the inverter location. And we did the awkward AC and data cable run. Uh, the consumer unit and mains in this one is in the center of the house. Railed and anchored the roofs and uh, today we'll be paneling and uh, we have just started to install the batteries and inverters I'm looking to complete today. makes them out in the battery a lot easier because uh, we've got pilot holes in the back of the cabinet um, so it's already pre uh, so it's sort of pre-mounted for us do you have solar pv car would you personally have one of these i would i would personally have hand you and yes i would have one of these and why would you have one of these cabinets for your uh well, just for battery efficiency but also just for ease of installation as well What are these that you call again? They are the uh, power leads for the battery um, that will go to the inverter. So we've got uh, the new Hanshu uh, battery uh, cabinet, uh, which uh, keep, keeps the uh, temperature uh, slightly higher. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's, all, it's pilot hold for the brackets for each different size of battery. So whichever size Hanshu battery you're using, the bracket for the, the bracket that comes as standard with the battery just fixes straight into the pre-piloted holes in the back of the cabinet. Is solvent cement. It's uh, well, it essentially melts the plastic so that two pieces of plastic essentially become one. So it just weather weatherproofs the drink in a bit. tool that you're using it's it's just a right angled uh, ratchet as you've got and i've got a lot of space under here there's not a lot of room to get a socket set in so we give you this little right angled one so we've uh, we've got the cables from the batteries into the inverter now uh, so we're just wiring those in we've got the power leads from the battery into the inverter I'm just earthing the battery and outer casing uh, now, and then we'll uh, then we'll get the uh, an RG45 end on the VMS and uh, start bringing the solar in.
go in a specific order. It's an RJ45 it's a data data cable. It goes orange and white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown, white, brown. in the BMS for the battery management system and the RS485 for the uh, CT clamp. Uh, we've connected up the uh, battery power leads and we've completed the AC supply um, for the uh, inverter as well. AC rotary isolator is done, the generation meter is done, the, um, we've wired into a bi-directional RCVO. I am connecting the battery, oh, which has but just failed to bind, on the, on the inverter to the internet. All right, the battery's online. It's very simple to uh, uh, to um, get these get the hand shoe kit online. Very straightforward. It's configuring the inverter now, which it's just finished doing. You can hear the relays clicking now, so it's self checking the inverter, make sure it's safe to fire up. Um, and shortly, we should see it. Shortly, oh, the soul's turned off. That one out. There we go. So we've got 129.5 volts at the moment on our small string, four panel string, and we have 221.3 volts on our uh, southwest facing uh, seven panel string. The install's complete. We've got a 3.68 kilowatt hybrid inverter, um, which is uh, running and charging. Battery, hand shoe battery there. Uh, obviously we've installed this uh, cabinet just to protect that battery keep that uh, ideally keep that temperature over zero degrees where the hand shoe batteries shut down try and get a bit, little bit more efficiency out of them but also it's a you know it's a lockable enclosure so we're having the we're having the um, battery outside it gives you a little bit of peace of mind and always going to come and steal it we've got our dc cables down from the roof just in some containment there we've got our uh, regulatory Isolators, DC, isolate that side, AC, rotary isolator that side. Uh, all our cables nice and neat in a bit of containment. Really nice to install, very easy, very easy to install. It actually makes the battery install a fair bit easier in itself uh, and they look great. Ab absolutely, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a well piece. It's it's a well it's a well built uh, piece of equipment. Absolutely, yeah. Very, very, very sturdy, solid piece of kit. Um, you know, it should last. A, you know a significant a significant lifetime so it'd be longer than the lifetime of the battery
Now, before we end today's video, we managed to grab a quick chat with our customer who is happy to be on camera and give his thoughts on the install and what he thought about Blue Ape. Okay, very uh, um, seamlessly. Uh, well, everything's gone well from my point. Uh, I did look at your videos online and uh, seemed very informative. And uh, obviously, the price was very good. And uh, I thought, as take a punt on these and I've got no regrets. Looks quite smart. It all looks you know, slick and self-contained. Mm -hmm. I most definitely am. I might be able to put my uh, hot tub on all year round now. Have liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you would like your solar PV system, air source heat pump or even EV charger to be installed by the apes, please call us on the number below or you can book a consultation via the link in the description. We well, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.